Now we want to show you how to write equations in LaTeX. So uh, if you've watched my first video, the first thing you have to do is to put documents class and then if you want an article or report, so here I want an article. The new thing we have now is I'm going to use a package so that I can write in math mode without any problem. So you use, you write uh, backslash uh, use package AMS math and then as usual begin documents and end documents and then I have my title equation and then I have my make title now I am in the section of equations I'm going to work on equations one way to write an equation if you want it to be in inline what do I mean? If I compile it, you see, but if you want it to be in line, you just have to use the dollar sign. One thing I, I forgot to tell you is that I'm using a text editor, which is very helpful. That makes me makes it able for me to select some things without typing. And and the name is tech maker watch my first video you will know it now if if i go here i can easily select some things if it's in line i need two dollar signs if you are not using this test editor you have to type it in yourself you type the first dollar sign and then you type the end and then you put your equation in so let's put some equation i want to write an equation like x if I want to write x squared, I have to put something like, um, the, oh, sorry, this. If you are using, you can also come for it here. If you see it here, if you are using the same test editor, you can just pick it here. But if not, you type it in, you have um, x squared um, plus maybe plus 3x plus 2 now let's see how it's what if we compile it let's see how we run it now and then we look at how it looks like so this is how um, it would look like sorry I hope you can see it's not I don't know why it's jumping up and down yes so now if you look at it you have this one thing is i want i don't want this this is an equation to continue here so i can what i can do is to to go to the next line a new line you can get to a new line by press doing these two backslashes now let's run it and see what will happen you now see that's my um this has moved to the other side it has moved down and this is the equation we had now another way of writing an equation is using um, the backslash and the square brackets so i always uh, prefer putting everything and then i put it in so you see i'm going to put it in here let's see what will happen what does this produce? Okay. Now we we run and then we see the in this other case what happens is that in in this other case the in this other case the equation goes to the next line. So if you want it in line, use the um, dollar sign. If you want it to go down, then you use this. There's another way to represent the equation as well. Another way is you can use um, you can use begin equation. Maybe one thing I can do. It, okay, I still maintain it. You can use let's make this a bit bigger so you can use begin e 
equation you see with this test set it's how it comes already and it gives me the end equation now i want to write some equation here anything at all let's see here i, I want to use this here if you are not using this test as a task i said you have to type everything but i want to write something like um fraction so if I want to, if you want a fraction, you will write backslash frac, and then you write something like two divi um, divided by three X, for example. What this does is that it numbers the equation. So let's see, we run it, we have this, and then we, you see, this is the equation that we got and it's numbered nicely here for us if you don't want it to be numbered and you are using equation equation what you can do is to put an asterisk in most or, or in these things that you have begin begin if you those things that have numbers if you don't want a number you just put an asterisk there and then it will um, oh sorry I forgot to put the same asterisk on the other side now we have this and then it removes the numbering there now another way you can um, um, write an equation if you come here but uh, uh, there is a, there are many ways another way you can is to use begin align if you are using this test editor you can just press it if not you type it and you have begin align end align now this is a good i like using this because this numbers um, aligns the thing in a way you see what i'm trying to talk about very soon let me write this equation zero is equal to x squared x superscript squared so squared plus 3 x plus 2 I have this first let's see how it will show us but then um, I'll show you what the alignment is with the, as we go on let's see here so we have this it's numbers the equation as well like the equation um begin equation now if we if we we have this now i the, i want to solve this equation so i don't want to write a uh, zero uh, anymore i just want to write equal to i can just write equal to now because i want to have alignment so what i need is the end sign i need this end sign here so that i can it's the whole thing will be aligned let's continue now this we know is this so I, if i expand it yes i factorize it i get x plus one x plus two oops now you see because i, I want i don't want it maybe first i show you without the um without the ampersand and then we'll see i i i have to put a okay we put our the so that's it uh, we want it to be written on the next line so we need this two um uh, backslashes now what i want is let's see this first look at what i'm talking about and then i'll put the ampersand and you understand what i mean so you see if you look at this i it doesn't look really nice of course everything is nice here but i want the equal sign to be equal under here so what i need to do is to put an ampersand sign in front of the equal sign so where you want the things to be aligned you put the 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 signs let's see here just make it a bit looking also nice yes and then if you look at it i have the ampersands here 
and then now let's see you see they are aligned so that is what the align is used for now we can go on and look at how to write some other math equations like if i want to write something like summation i can just write backslash sum i'm sorry backslash sum sum summation of maybe x let's see what comes out of it oh i have to i have to put it in a math environment so maybe i now do everything in i i, I do again i clean all that i have here and then we begin a new thing so we have big um, maybe i close i just remove this so we have space for you to see oh but why i can just move this down like this that's okay yes so let's be do another thing here we put everything in the line it's good comment this now i want to put um another equation just ignore what i have there or oh, maybe not I, I just copy this again copy and paste and I'll change the equation to summation so I have sum the summation this I want maybe numbered so I write the summation of x sorry summation of x so we have this oh i see so you see it's not it's what was the problem oh yes very good it's because of the space that i had sorry so we have this now you see we have the summation here now with this summation in case it's summation from um from uh, uh, let's say that we have x uh, i subscript i so subscript you write underscore and then you put i there or if you are lucky and you are using this you can always look at it here it's here but if you are using another test editor then we we have this um we put this in quotes now i want to write um uh, the summation from one to n for example so i do the same subscripts and then i put one or zero whichever you want and you you do you write soups um the hat sign and then you put um to n for example let's see here uh, this and then so you see now we have from one to an x um, i so that's how to write summation if you want to change it to something like um integration you can do int and then let's see uh, hope yes and that's there you go so these are some of the math things i'll be going i'll be doing other math things um the next video looking at other complicated math uh, things and other formats thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel thanks bye